Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech fan. Salon sent me some filaments for the testing. This is a Noctilucens PLA and this is easy ABS with some new formula, less warping, uh, less fumes and similar, but this will be tested in a separate video. Back to this PLA. This is some kind of uh, glowing dark PLA and this is what is written on the box. I will see what's on the spool when I open it. I got some specifications in the email because this is so new product that it is still not on the website. They say luminous time increased by 200% and the brightness by 300% thanks to this uh, new formula. And uh, in sunlight, saturated 1 to 3 minutes, it can glow for the 60 minutes. These are things which are not easy to test because I cannot compare it, I don't have regular glowing dark PLA. Anyway, uh, I will do only one mechanical testing with this PLA because this is mostly for uh, visual aesthetic looks. Uh, but that testing will be the layer adhesion test because this is what I'm curious about. And also I will print some figures and to see how they glow in dark. Now, my first question when I get this request was, uh, does it require a hardened nozzle? And first the marketing contact tell me that no, it can be printed with the breast nozzle too. But uh, just in case, I submitted a ticket to the Sanlu and I got uh, the official answer from them that uh, no, it doesn't require hardened nozzle. It can be printed with both with breast or hardened nozzle too. Okay, uh, but just in case, uh, I have that camera I got from the Ember prototypes. So I will print it with the breast nozzle, but uh, I will create some pictures or record some footage uh, before the printing. And I will print uh, with both. I have here green and blue color. And then I will check how the nozzle looks like after this printing. It's nice vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside. And I can see the recommended printing temperature between 195 and 205 degrees Celsius. So the temperature tower will have only two elements. And no more information, not even about the manufacturer, the Sandu. Hmm. It would be good to have some kind of scale here to see how much filament we have on the spool in grams or in meters. It would be good to have information what is the weight of the empty spool. Mm, now I notice a new thing, I'm not sure if it's visible on screen. There is a plastic part properly for the locking the end of the filament so we don't have to use these uh, holes because uh, it always breaks the filament after some time. Everything will be printed on NS3 S1 Pro, but first I want to clean the nozzle and then create some footages to record its current state before the printing. I moved the nozzle to the 30mm Z coordinate and probably it will be in the focus of this camera. I'm using it for the calibrating of the IDEX printers. And I will start with the blue color. And for the warning we have this sticker to lock always the end of the filament because it may jam or tangle something like that. And this is why I don't like these uh, holes and I hope this will work better. Let's just test it quickly. Hmm, nice solution. The start is good, the first layer sticks correctly, even those small letters. Perfect overhang on any element, uh, great bridging and overhang, absolutely no stringing. And I will print everything on 200 degrees Celsius. This is the test rabbit which Creality places on their SD cards with the new printers. And this is another great printing, no problems with this overhang below the head and also no stringings between the ears. And interesting to see that this material is partly transparent, I can see those infill lines. And these are my standard test objects for the layer adhesion test with the smallest cross section area of 4x4mm. End of the filament locked and I can switch to green one. And the color change was successful. Printing with green PLA was very similar to the blue one. This is a temperature tower and it was very similar to the blue version. As you can see equally good quality in all aspects. And the same experience I had with the printing of the green rabbit. 
These two rabbits look completely identical and I can see they are both uh, partly transparent, I can see the infill lines and even my daughter noticed and she has what are those lines on the rabbit. And the last object for the layer treasure test and uh, then I can analyze it. And now after approximately 4 hours of printing let's analyze the nozzle with that Ember Prototypes camera. And here you can see it after the printing but here they are side by side. There is a circle inside and now I place it outside. It is not too obvious but somehow I can see very polished surface on the right side after the printing so I don't feel too comfortable to print with the breast nozzle this filament. And now let's check the layer adhesion. This test object has a smallest cross section area of 4x4 4 4 millimeters and about 50 kilograms so this is very good for PLA actually for any material and very similar results with the green PLA. So basically very strong layer adhesion and I want to mention so these two holders I got from the PCBWay using their CNC milling services. And now testing that glowing in the dark effect. Now they claim that if it is exposed to sun, I don't know, a couple of minutes, it can glow for 60 minutes. But this is not real life situation. I'm more curious about that uh, if it will be here on a daylight but indoors and then it will be under artificial light. And when the kids go to sleep, for example, we turn off the light, how long we can see that glowing in the dark. So this is what I'm curious about and this I will try to measure somehow. Finally everybody is sleeping so I can turn off the light. I'm watching a movie but uh, every 15 minutes I want to create a picture and I will set my camera to the manual settings so the pictures are comparable with each other. And I will see for how long I can see still the silhouette of these uh, glowing dark filaments. The camera is set to manual mode so the images are comparable with each other. And to get some numbers I converted them into the grayscale images and measured the gray value. It's a number between 0 and 255. And these numbers are presented on this graph and we can see that the blue glows better but only at the beginning after approximately 20 minutes their intensity with the green is very similar. But from personal experience I can tell that even after 2 hours uh, when the eyes get used to the dark I can see the silhouette of the printed objects. And now short conclusions. To be honest with you, if I wouldn't have a kids, I would never even try this kind of materials, but it is very interesting to see how they glow in the dark. About my testing methods, uh, maybe they are not so important, but I was curious about that layer adhesion, which is actually great. And about this glowing in dark effect. The blue one glows better compared to the green one. And I cannot compare with other filaments because I don't have any. But uh, for me what is enough that I had that glowing effect next 20 minutes or maybe half hours after we turn off the light before the kids fall into the sleep. About that breast nozzle question. I'm not sure but uh, definitely I think that hardened steel nozzle should be used here. I will see when the product will be available on Sunlu's website what will be the information about this uh, nozzle type. But I think this shouldn't be printed with the breast nozzle. And a little bit off topic, uh, I always get suggestions why I'm not so detailed like Stefan from CNC Kitchen because I saw his videos about the glowing dark uh, filaments. Well, the reason is very simple. I'm doing only the tests uh, which I'm curious about because my budget is limited. I earn per video approximately $5 until according to the views, probably he earns about $500. So uh, if I'm not curious about some tests, I will not do it. If you have some other suggestions or comments about this uh, glowing dark filament, you know a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!